Hey, it's Mark here, founder of Making Yours and creator of Find Love in Five Steps. Today we are talking on how to get a guy to ask you out. I've got really simple things that can help make it happen for you right now. Welcome again. Today I have a video I've been planning for quite some time on how to get a guy to ask you out. Now, to begin with, this can be a broad question. I mean, the good news is that whatever situation you're in, the same kind of process applies. So the only difference is the better you know him and the more you've talked to him, the more you can kind of like skip ahead to the later parts of this video. If you're in a situation where you haven't even met the guy, say you've just seen him and you're in awe from a distance, then it's pretty obvious if you want to ask him out, you're going to have to meet him first. The first thing you want to do is you want to get notice. And you can do this in two ways, either directly or indirectly. So directly means initiating a conversation directly. But if you're not that confident, that's totally cool. You can get a guy to notice you indirectly. So he's in your vicinity and that basically means he picks up that you are somewhere around him. So you could do this by, you know, smiling a lot, being expressive and outgoing with your friends, dressing the part, you know, not too boring, not too sexy, getting a good balance is gonna get you noticed for the right reasons. So that's how to get noticed by a guy. So if you want more information on just that little section of that topic, I did a video on, on that part alone. So check out the description. Step two is get into a conversation. So if you haven't already chatted to the guy, then that's obviously where you've got to start. If he's noticed you, you can get him to approach you. You know, otherwise you can just approach him. Personally, I love coaching women on how to get a guy to approach them. The one thing you have to remember with this is a man will only approach you if he believes his chances of success are high. So that means strong eye contact, open body language, smiling at him, basically making it so obvious that a chimpanzee, right, could figure it out. You really do have to just hit him over the head with how obviously you want him to approach. So if, in case you're interested in, in that as well, I've done a separate video on how to get a guy to approach you going into that whole process in much more detail. So you can look for that in the description. Like I say though, if you don't wanna do all that, you can just approach him. The next thing is to build rapport. So this is where you start connecting with the guy, you know, on a deeper level. Ask questions that you're genuinely curious about and talk to him about your passions with, with real genuine excitement. Bring out the three C's. So that's confidence. So speaking with certainty and expressiveness. Challenge, and this is where you kind of playfully tease him or give him a bit of grief. And character, which is where you just relax into yourself and display the usual character traits that, that you have that are unique to you. If you can do all this successfully, and it will take some practice, but if you can do all of that successfully, the guy is already, even this early on, going to be thinking about asking you out. If you want more advice on talking to a guy and making great conversation, I've also got a video for that. So it's how to talk to a guy, uh, part one. It's The link is in the description below. All right, so step four is time to flirt. Ramp it up, ramp up those green lights. This is where you really start making it clear that you want the guy to ask you out. Now remember, guys hate rejection too. All right, men hate rejection too. So in the same way that he needs green lights if he's going to come over to you, he also needs green lights if he's going to ask you out. So, you know, touch him playfully, tease him, maybe ramp up the sexual tension with him. If it's more intimate, lean into him. Do things that, that make it really obvious. So bottom line here is that the less confident he is, the more obvious you're gonna to have to make it to that guy that you like him. And guess what? There's a video, uh, there's a video in the description for that as well. It's how to flirt with a guy. So I've got all these videos in the description, heaps going on, so check out every single step. Step five, if he still hasn't asked you out, is to help him out. So by now, if you're doing it right, then it's obvious that you like him. He knows, right? So if he hasn't asked you out yet, it could be because he's shy or maybe he just doesn't even know how. He's like, what does, what does asking a girl out even constitute? How do I even do that? Help him by giving him some options. So for example, you could say, so this DJ is in town next week that I really liked. I'm bummed though, uh, my friends are all busy. I've got to find someone cool to go with. Something like, I reckon I'd be so impressed if a guy took me on a creative date, like to a playground or an exploring date. You know, you can drop these hints along the way. The other thing you can do, and, and this is a little bit sneaky, uh, is to get your friend involved or friends involved. If it is a situation where you two have mutual friends, 
send your friend him to tell him, or at least hint to him, that you want him to ask you out. It's not the most confident way to do things, but it works, so why not? And finally, step six, you know, if all else fails, ask him out yourself. Look, if you've done everything else, if you've, if you've given him the signs, if you've flirted, if you've hinted at it, and you just wanna get your answer one way or another, you know what, go ahead and ask the guy out yourself. There's absolutely nothing stopping you. It doesn't have to be a massive deal. It could just be you asking him to grab a coffee with you or drinks after work, say, or coming to the markets. It does take the most courage, but you'll always get your answer and you'll save a bunch of time by just asking him out. And that's it, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want more information about Reading Men, I actually created a five part audio series called how to tell if a guy likes you. So it's a complete guide to reading all the confusing signals of men, um, the signals that are powerful, the signals that aren't. Link's in the description below. Leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting the button there, and I will see you very soon.